Welcome everybody, I'm Dave Hodgkins and this is Hanging with Hodge. Come for the mead, stay for the oak results this time. On this channel, we discuss mead. If you like drinking mead, brewing mead, and or talking about mead, make sure to hit that like and the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. You'll get notified each time I put out a new video. Now, in our last video, we added some Jack Daniels oak chips and some vanilla beans to the end of our primary fermentation of our traditional mead that we had been making. Now it's time to go check those results. So let's go make some mead. Ah, but first this. And we're back, it's about a week later. Now, unfortunately, my camera died uh, when I needed to take the wood chips and vanilla beans out. Uh, so I did go ahead and I pulled those out. It was uh, exactly one week later. Now we're a few days later, my camera's back up. It's now fully charged again. Uh, but I did go ahead and I pulled out the bag with the wood chips in it. And now we are going to go ahead and rack it from here into our glass carboy. So at this point, the equipment that you would need, again, we're going to take a little taste, uh, see how it came out from adding the wood chips and the vanilla beans. Now I did already take a taste, so I know, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and do it and we'll get a shot as to see what it looks like uh, on camera. Um, the other equipment that says you need, wine thief. Somebody did make a comment that I need a bigger one of these, I agree. They said either I need a bigger wine thief or I need a smaller graduated cylinder. But I usually take what's in the graduated cylinder quite often, not usually, but quite often, uh, when it's ready to be bottled, take that final reading, and I will pour that into a glass. And so I don't want to get a smaller graduated cylinder because, well, then I get less mead to drink at that given time. So obviously I need a bigger uh, wine thief. So. But so you need a wine thief. You will need a siphon. Now again, I'm using an auto siphon. Now I do not have the uh, spring-loaded end on this here, the bottle filler, because we're just going straight into here so we can let it free flow into there. Uh, but we do have our auto siphon. Uh, you'll need a carboy. So we're using a glass carboy here. Uh, I've already got my uh, masking tape on here and then again I will use my uh, marker to write on that so I'm going to use a uh, wet erase marker so this way here I can just wipe it off and it stays uh, clean I can reuse it and then you'll need a bung with an airlock and what I've already done is I've already sanitized everything as usual and then I fill this with the san some of the sanitizer water that I use to sanitize everything with. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and get that started. So let's go ahead and pull this. Set that aside over here. This is a much darker color than what it was. Go ahead and take some out from here. So it is darker. It's a little cloudy. Not bad though. It's pretty clear. You're looking at it. And again, this time here I'm using this time here I'm using my medieval manor glass. Uh, so medieval manor was a theater restaurant in Boston that unfortunately they've closed down. But they were so much fun. You go in there, you don't get any silverware. You eat everything with your hands. Um, and it was serve up the food. You sit at these long tables. It's almost like a mead hall. Uh, I sit at these long tables and they bring out the food uh, and uh, you get white wine in the glasses here. Uh, and it was just a really fun time. Uh, you had a king up there, a song and dance. They would put on a show. Uh, and uh, if you had to go to the restroom at a non-designated time, you had to raise your hand and ask for permission from the king to go to Canterbury Trail. And if he felt generous, he would allow you. If not, 
he'd tell you cross your legs and hold it for a while. Maybe you have to do a little song and dance. Maybe you need to recite a poem. But if you were going at a time when it was not authorized, you'd have to get permission from the king. It was a lot of fun. Unfortunately, they're not there anymore. I would love to find another place like that. But I digress. Mead uh, with the oak chips and the uh, vanilla beans. They were in there for a week. It smells really good. You definitely get the floral uh, uh, aroma coming up from it as well as the vanilla beans. That's nice. It's going to get even better with age. I can feel uh, the youngness of it at the back of the throat, but uh, overall it's got a good mouth feel. I like adding the oak in there. I'm going to have to do some different types of oak coming up in the future, uh, but I do like that. And as you inhale, it just the aromas just swirl inside of your mouth. It was a really nice flavor coming out of it. All right, let's get this into our carboy and start aging this. So I've got a stool over here I set my carboy down on. We're gonna go ahead and get this started. So we'll just put the end of the hose in the carboy. Get this going in here. Put this over here, this is where I can see it. Right, and we'll be back in a second. All right, we've got our one gallon here filled up. We're gonna go ahead and add our airlock. I'll use a couple of rubber bands because as you can see, uh, as you push the airlock down, it starts to come back up again. Um, so I use a couple of rubber bands to uh, keep it secured down there. We're gonna go ahead and set this downstairs in our mead station. We're gonna let it age for at least a month, um, probably longer actually. I wanna see, I'm gonna let this one age for quite a while. So it'll probably be several months before we have another tasting of this, maybe even a year. So until next time, uh, hey, thanks for coming out, hanging with Hodge. Go ahead, click that like button, click the subscribe button. Uh, you know the routine, I really appreciate it. Uh, it means a lot to me. Uh, and more, it means a lot that you come out and you spend some time uh, hanging out with me I really like that. I enjoy our time together. Um, I'm going to have a couple of videos over here. And as usual, uh, I'll have the subscribe button over here as usual. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, click that subscribe button. Get a thousand points. Doesn't do anything, but you get a thousand points. Um, and click the like button for 37 points. Okay, I'm out of here. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great week and we'll talk to you next time. Cheers.